Hi everyone and welcome to a very short video today. I just wanted to show a compa quick comparison of two pens. Now this pen is a modern classic. This is the Parker Dual Fold Centennial. Um, it is a pen with an 18 karat gold nib um, and a beautiful writer. Um, classic design, um, doesn't post particularly well but you can do it. It's a nice size pen. Really lovely classic, classic pen from, you know, Parker. This pen is the Jinhao Centennial. Now, straight away on first look, you can see, let's call it heavily inspired. So the Parker Dual Fold Centennial will set you back several hundred dollars. As I said, 18 karat gold nib, beautiful pen, great design, classic design, well known, been around for ages. The Jinhao Centennial will set you back under $50 Australian, very under $50 Australian, uh, has a Basics Gin House Steel nib, uh, the same sort of nib you would find on, you know, a X450 or, a, oh, I've got ink on my fingers, that's from the Gin How, um, an X450 or X750, something like that. Um, so, you know, looking at the pens from a basic sort of perspective, Top of the pen, both come with the brand's logo in a medallion on the top. You then get like a black, slightly tapered cap, cap band, a, you know, a clip band, clip, different design clips, but uh, you know, still very heavily inspired by. Cylindrical cap through to a wide cap band with sort of three bands on it, uh, and then the brand's name engraved. Uh, then you get like a basically cylindrical body which tapers slightly to a, a metal ring and then a black tapered end cap. So pretty similar. Let's unscrew the caps. They both screwed a cap. Now it looks like the Jinhao is filled with ink so I might just need to dry that off in a second. Um, so you get a set of threads, a, a metal ring and then a tapered section which flares out to another metal ring and then the nib. So, you know, I'm going to say heavily, heavily inspired by it. They're both cartridge converter pens, uh, but as I said, one will set you back a few hundred dollars, several hundred dollars, and you get a beautiful writing experience for that. One will set you back a lot less. And look, I'm not going to lie, the writing experience with the Jinhao is pretty good. Um, but, you know, when a pen is that heavily inspired, I'm using inspired, and I think we all know, you know, it's probably a little bit more than inspired. It's a copy in a lot of ways. It's not a fake because, you know, there are certain differences. It's not labeled as Parker. It's not, you know, got the Parker clip and all that sort of thing. But let's be honest, it's a copy. Um, it's even the Centennial, you know, like, I understand that, you know, there are only so much you can do in terms of pen design, but this pushes it a little bit for me. Um, but yes, the writing experience with the Jinhao is fine. And of course, the famous Parker Jewel Fold is the big red, which is this sort of orange color with the black ends. So it's, you know, calling it heavily inspired, I think is fairly fair. And yes, the writing experience is fine, um, you know, but as you can see, this is somehow, for some reason, filled with ink at the moment. Um, but I'm gonna do just a quick writing sample with both, just so you can see it. I'll just quickly dry down this um, nib section here, and the threads. So you can see there's a lot of ink there, which has come out in the cap. Um, and I haven't been treating this pen badly, so that's a bit of a shame. But anyway, what we have here, we'll just go the Jinhao, and we both know these are the Centennial. Uh, you know, perfectly fine writer, a little bit scratchy on some of the side strokes. Um, not the most perfectly tuned nib, but smooth-ish, wet. Um, this is Diamine Pumpkin ink, um, which I had in the Parker, actually. Um, but yeah, no, this pen's okay. It's just a little bit, there's a bit of feedback on the nib, a bit too much feedback. It's not scratchy, but there are sort of lines that are less smooth, shall we say. And then we get the Parker. Now there is feedback. But the writing experience of this is smooth. It's not a, it's not a soft nib, but it, you can see there it's sort of, it's, it's got a little bit of bounce, it's not flex, I'm not gonna open it up. But the 18 karat gold does allow for a sort of a, 
it's like driving on a car with nice shock absorbers. You know, you don't sort of get a suspension. You don't get that, you know, that rigid feeling from the nib. It's smooth. Like there is feedback. Parker is not, that's not unfamiliar on Parker pens. Um, and yes, it's also quite wet. Um, and like I bought this pen as a reward to myself for doing a particular show. Uh, and I, which I occasionally do when, you know, I do a show that means something to me. I get myself a memento of that. So this is a pen that actually means something as well as being, you know, a beautiful writer and a classic. This pen um, is a heavily inspired pen. So that is the Gin House Centennial and the Parker Dual Fault Centennial, just showing the similarities between the two pens. Um, if you've got thoughts on this, I'd love to see them in the comments below. Um, I'm not condoning copies like this. I'm not saying that this is a better pen. I'm not saying it's a worse pen. I'm just showing the differences. They both write well. The value of these pens will be decided by you, the buyer. For me, like I'm happy with the purchase that I made of the Parker. I think it's a beautiful pen and it's one of my absolute favorite pens. Uh, last year it was the top pen on my list for last year. I think it just writes beautifully. It handles itself absolutely gloriously. Um, and I think it's got a great classic design. It's so great and classic a design that other brands obviously rip it off. And you know, Jinhao's not the only one. There are many others as well who do, who actually, you know, including fakes. It's that sort of pen. But this was these two. I hope you found this video interesting and useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. If you've got products you think I should be looking at, get in touch and let's see what we can do. Or as a way, I'd like to support the channel by sponsoring a review or providing an item for review. Get in touch and let's see what we can do. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you later.